Devotion to the Holy Face, Part 3, Chapter 2 Purpose of the Holy Face Devotion The pinnacle of all devotions, Jesus revealed the Holy Face Devotion to Sister Mary of St. Peter, Marie of St. Pierre, a Carmelite nun living in Tours, France, through a series of revelations from 1844 to 1847. Christ himself called the Holy Face Devotion the most beautiful work under the sun. Jesus said to Sister Mary about this devotion, Rejoice, my daughter, because the hour approaches when the most beautiful work under the sun will be here. If any do not recognize my work in this, it will be because they close their eyes to it. Sins of our age. God is being distinguished from society. Our generation is becoming increasingly faithless. As society continues to distinguish God from our midst, society is embracing paganism. Jesus is being pushed far away. Outrages are being inflicted on the sovereignty of God and the divinity of Jesus. These species of sins, which pertain to the first three commandments, wound God's divine heart more grievously than all other sins. Jesus specifically named these sins, profanation of Sundays and the holy days of obligation. Jesus explains his sadness about those not attending Mass and doing secular labor on Sundays. The executioners crucify me on Friday. Christians crucify me on Sunday, blaspheming the name and face of God. The blasphemer curses God to his face, attacks him publicly, nullifies his own redemption, and pronounces his own judgment and condemnation. Atheism, not believing in the existence of the living God, Communism, a system of rule where God is expunged and not allowed to exist. Reparations through the Holy Face devotion is the solution. The Holy Face devotion is a gift from God given to us as a means to make reparation for the sins of our age against the first three commandments. The Holy Face devotion is a means by which to bring about the conversion of sinners, society's return to mass, and the dismantling of communism. But these species of sins against the divinity of God cannot go unpunished. God the Father wants expiation from us for these sins either by the scourge of divine justice or by our voluntary willingness to make reparation with the holy face devotion. God has given us this choice. God the Father does not want to see souls lost. He wants our redemption even more than we want it ourselves. To this end, he also wants reparation from us, much in the same way that he asked Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. God is requesting reparation now while there is still time. Along with making reparation, for the profanation of Sundays and Holy Days, blasphemy, atheism, and communism. There are other related sins to atone for, such as not honoring Sundays by resting from servile work, not believing in the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, dismissing our need for the sacraments, confession, marriage, etc., as well as not believing and the healing power that lies within these sacraments. There is no object more worthy of our homage than that of the holy face of Christ. Let us humble ourselves before God, making heartfelt reparation to Him as we trust our life, our family, and faith of the world entirely to Him. We will receive many spiritual graces by devoting ourselves to the work of reparation and our prayers for sinners and the country will be answered. Understanding reparation, what does it look like? Jesus told Sister Mary of St. Peter during his revelations to her, O you who are my friends, 
and my faithful children. Look and see if there be any sorrow like mine. Everywhere my enemies despise and insult my eternal father and my church, the cherished spouse of my heart. Will no one rise up to console me by defending the glory of my father and the honor of my spouse, which has been so cruelly attacked? I can no longer remain in the midst of a people that will continue to be so heedless and ungrateful. Look at the torments of tears that stream from my eyes. Can I find no one to wipe away these tears by making reparation to my father and imploring forgiveness for the guilty? Jesus told Sister Mary, I am seeking Veronica's to wipe and honor my holy face because there are few worshipers. Jesus then showed Sister Mary the value of Veronica's actions firsthand by allowing Sister's soul to travel with him to the exact time and place in history to witness Veronica courageously pushing through the crowd of Roman soldiers in Jerusalem. Sister Mary watched as Veronica detached her veil of fine Egyptian linen from her head and lovingly wiped the bruised and bloody face of Jesus. Veronica's act of reparation brought instant relief and comfort to Jesus, reanimating his countenance. Veronica's act of love is permanently etched in stone on the sixth station of the cross in church doctrine. As a recompense to Veronica, Jesus showed his gratitude by leaving an impression of his holy face in the current state to which it had been reduced on Veronica's veil. The good thief Dismas made reparations to God when he spoke in defense of Jesus, acknowledging his divinity, while at the same time the crowd and the other criminal being crucified, blasphemed him. This returned reverentially towards Jesus' countenance, saying, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus rewarded his act of love by replying, I promise you, this day you will be with me in paradise. The golden arrow prayer is another means of making reparations. When Jesus gave this prayer to Sister Mary, in August 1843, he explained that this prayer wounds him delightfully. Jesus also told Sister Mary on March 16, 1844, Oh, if you only knew what great merit you acquire by saying even once, Amable is the name of God in a spirit of reparation for blasphemy. Jesus told another holy face devotee, Sister Perina, in 1936, I firmly wish that my face reflecting the intimate pains of my soul, the suffering and love of my heart, be more honored. Whoever gazes upon me already consoles me. A final example of reparation occurred when Jesus told St. Gertrude, if anyone meditated upon and considered my sufferings with tenderness and compassion and charitably prayed for sinners, his heart would be to me as a salutary balm, and it would assuage my sufferings. In summary, Jesus gave us the Holy Face devotion as the vehicle through which to make these reparations. A Holy Face prayer group can effectively make reparations, so we will divert the justice of the Father, which will otherwise occur without reparation. The devotional prayers recall Jesus' sufferings during his passion, as well as the sufferings he experiences today through sin of atheism, communism, blasphemy, and the profanations of Sunday and Holy Days. The prayers also praise the name and face of God, acknowledge his divinity, and uphold the sanctity of God's holy Catholic Church. Jesus tells us 
that if we make reparations through the holy face devotion, we can expect miracles, sinners will be converted, and communism will be dismantled, and we will shine with a particular brightness in heaven for faithfully practicing this devotion. We recently experienced an extraordinary miracle in our own Holy Face Devotion Prayer Group. A member brother was dying of stage 4 pancreatic cancer that had also spread to his stomach. After praying to the Holy Face, his scans returned completely clear. Our Lord's promises to those devoted to his holy face. All those who want in my face in the spirit of reparation will by so doing perform the office of the pious Veronica. According to the care that they take in making reparation to my face disfigured by blasphemers, so will I take care of their souls which have been disfigured by sin. My face is the seal of the divinity which has the virtue of reproducing in souls the image of God. Those who by words, prayers, or writing defend my cause in this work of reparation, I will defend before my Father and will give them my kingdom. By offering my face to my eternal Father, nothing will be refused, and the conversion of many sinners will be obtained. By my holy face, they will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and drive down mercy on sinners, as in a kingdom that can procure all that is desired. With a coin stamp with the king's effigy, so in the kingdom of heaven they will obtain all they desire with the precious coin of my holy face. Those who on earth contemplate the wounds of my face shall in heaven Behold it radiant with glory. They will receive in their souls a bright and constant irradiation of my divinity, that by their likeness to my face they shall shine with particular splendor in heaven. I will defend them, I will preserve them, and I will assure them of final perseverance. For more stories, please visit our website, www.pamphletstoinspire.com.